what's going on everybody dj go ham here welcome back to the channel let's pop some deals baby Com. Crap. Today we've got no mons on the testing list because there is no testing list. Giants are heading to Boston. Hey, me too. And we got 11 modders to talk about, including the return of Sid. Thought he was gone. Let's check it out. There's been no update to the testing list, at least at the time of recording this video, and Giants are already out of the office anyway today, so I wouldn't expect to see anything at least till tomorrow, but I will keep you posted if anything changes. And we may not have a testing list, but we still had 17 new and updated mods released on the Mod Hub earlier today. For all platforms, we got two new and eight updates, and PC and Mac players got three new and four updates. I've already made a video showing these off, and you can find that video linked at the top of the description. Giant Software will be at PAX East in Boston from March 23rd through the 26th at booth 16,109. PAX is one of the most important game shows in the United States and brings players, publishers, and developers together. If you're going to the show, drop by and say hey to Giant staff and myself. That's right, I'm going to be heading to PAX East, hanging out with Giants on Friday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday that weekend. See you guys there. Jumping over to Monitor News. Sid Modding is back? That's what the script says. Even though he's working hard at Giant Software, likely on the next DLC or even on the next Farming Simulator game, he's also working on more mods. It was said a few weeks ago on his page that he would be stepping down from modding, but that looks like it was a little premature. Shown here, we've got a Gleaner S9 Combine, which he says is for his own modding. I'm not sure if this is a mod that he's working on to come to Mod Hub or not, but I will certainly keep you updated. Agritono's got a new screenshot of their F350 saying that they're currently working on the tire options and that it'll have six different rims to choose from. There will also be a flatbed and service bed, just like an FS19. However, the first version of the truck to come to Mod Hub will only include the two door model, with the four door coming in a future update. There will also be a split between the crossplay version and the PC only version, with the crossplay version getting the lizard logo in the front grille, and the PC version will either get Ford or Raptor, or maybe even both. Of course, this is due to licensing, and I know that they're already pushing the limits of what they can get away with on consoles anyway without running into branding problems. It does appear that the truck is almost completed, however, it's appeared that way for a few weeks now, so. Hopefully the next time we talk about it, it'll be on the testing list. That's not the only truck that's got some attention over the weekend though, as 82 Studio has continued work on his TLX 1982 pickup truck, with more customization options being added, as well as a new beat up version of it. It looks like it's seen some stuff over the past 40 years or so. A great addition to your collection with what's going to be a monster of a truck. Not a monster truck, though. Slusha's modding are back with a new mod, the John Deere 56 Riding Lawnmower. These were popular back in the early 70s. I think they were made between 70 and 74, something like that, and would look great on any classic American farm. Currently, they are done with the model and textures and only need to get it in-game. It's a very quick process being done there. And the best thing? It's for all platforms. Next up, for me, why modding? We get to see some work that he has done over the weekend on his John Deere 4010 and 4020. Those are both the same model, just different engines. However, he says he's going to add the 4000 mod as a configuration in the pack as well. So we're not getting one mod, we're getting two mods. Yes! Uh, it's going to be a pack though, so there it is. It is what it is. We're also going to get a list of configurations, which will include three motor configs across the two different models. We'll have two wheel drive and four wheel drive configurations. Rops, I'm not sure what that is. We'll also be getting canopy and cabin options, a front loader attachments for the Hauer in game, and rear duels. There will not be a tricycle option or exhaust configurations, and of course, mod is for all platforms. JHHG Modding have announced what their next mod is going to be, a modified 2009-2011 line John Deere 8R series. The return of one of the most popular mods from Farming Simulator 19. When I say that, I mean it. I used one of their third-party mods without even knowing it was theirs at first. They say that the S-series combines and folding corn heads are completed. They're out on Mod Hub, and now it's time to move on. They're going to be raising the bar with new customization options and features that will be announced soon. But if you take a deep dive in these screenshots that we got today, it should give you a good place to start. Looking good. Gamer Designs is adding a little something that should make handling their semi-trailers a little bit easier. The dolly. It's going to be included with their American Flatbed Trailers Pack, which also includes two different trailer links, configurations for flatbed, logging, or lumber, and the rear attachment option to hook up that dolly. As of yesterday on Sunday, he was doing the dirt and wear maps on everything and then uploading it for testing for all platforms. Once released, this might be the go-to trailer pack for all your needs. 
other than tipping, of course. Here's something pretty cool. BC Bueller Farms is working on a tutorial series for the Edgewater Saskatchewan map. There's going to be around eight videos in this series, and they're going to be there to help you with all of the new features that have been added to the map. He's aiming to get these videos up sometime this week. I'm assuming on YouTube, but I'll share those once they're out. And I'm just curious myself, are you excited about the Edgewater map? It seems like a lot of people are anxiously awaiting its release. Personally, I can't wait, and my game plan is to move over to this map for a gameplay series after I finish the 20th episode in Ohio. Should be another week or so, at least. Hispano Mining's insane container crane is in-game as he starts to work on the test. Here we can see the incredible size compared to the rest of the map in general, but it will be able to, in theory, move literally whatever you want it to, so that's pretty cool. In real life, these crane systems are just stupid big, and they get me excited to see how far Hispano Modding is going to take this in-game. Oh, it's going to be so cool. DJ Modding has added a new traffic signal script to Upper Mississippi River Valley since we looked at it over the weekend. This script from Mobile makes the traffic stop at lights that are yellow or red, thus making them a bit more predictable and realistic to real life. Currently, the map is still going through internal testing with DJ, and he hopes to get it out to the public in the next week or two. If you missed my first look on the map over the weekend, check that out, link below. But remember, the map is PC only, and it will not be coming to Mod Hub. And lastly today, Oxygen David posted up some new screenshots from Court Farms, showing off the three large placeable areas around for purchase. These areas are classed as development land, so you can build your own farm, plow it up, or make a new town and production area. The possibilities are literally limitless within the confines of the game itself, of course. So. Go wild and go, go gadget wild on this self-aware segue to the outro. Could have done better. Just like every episode of Find Some News. Links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description below. And you can check out this entire video in the form of a news article on farmsimnews.com. Remember, there's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod is going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it, get subscribed if you're new, and join the Gohan fam. Make sure the notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. Is that Hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Woo! Oh yeah, I accidentally forgot to turn the lights off and change them to red. Also, who's going to Boston? Meet up, let's do it.